James, welcome. Will you take a few moments to introduce your name, your title, and your role at Mom Incubator? So hi, my name is James Roberts. Um, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Mom Incubators. I wanted to know a little bit more about you before we dig into the company. So did you develop an interest in technology early in your life, or was there a specific event that led you to medical devices? I think I had the standard story of like, every young engineer, um, which is I started playing with Lego and just built up from that. Um, in terms of medical technology, I was lucky enough to go into a hospital and see um, someone had an implant, um, I, th I think a hip, hip implant at the time, and it was part of a clinical trial, I'd gone for something else, um, and I got to see the inventor of that as well. Um, and the thing that really struck me at a young age was his his feeling of what he'd done and, and his, his kind of sense of accomplishment exuded around me and, and, I, and I kind of felt like I wanted to do that and medical, medical technology was something I'd like to look into in the future. It's sounding to me that you admired his purpose. Yeah, definitely. I mean, for, for me, I, I have to work with a purpose. If, if I don't work with a purpose, I won't push myself. There's always going to be those hard times. Um, everyone experiences them, but it's so much easier to overcome them if you really, really believe that what you're doing will in somehow change the world. That's what I wanted to really get into. Did you have anybody in your life or any moment that was inspirational for you, either in your early career or later on once you got into the industry? Interesting question. So there's a, one story that I've actually always really followed is, um, do you know who James Dyson is? So James Dyson makes the vacuum cleaners. So he was kind of classic British entrepreneur who started from nothing and eventually kind of beat all odds to get where he is today. Um, he was a story I've, I'd followed for a very, very long time, taught in our classes, everything. This is how to build, you know, um, build awesome, amazing products. Um, when I was 23, I actually uh, entered his award and I won the entire thing. So I got to meet one of my heroes, um, which is incredible. Um, and he was the one. I already had a, a real burning desire to do what I was doing, but he was kind of the cherry on the top, um, getting to meet him and tell him about what we're doing, especially get his recognition as well. It was amazing. Huge congratulations. Yeah, it was good fun. It was good fun. It's not <laughs> just recognition, but validation that you're doing the right yeah. thing he, and you're in the right space. He, he got me started with Mum Incubators, really. Um, but he also got me a lot of attention from the, from the outside world and a lot of validation from the other companies, um, too and then kind of said, well, I want to kind of do this myself, and then did the whole kind of startup thing. Well, you mentioned Mom Incubator, so I think it's a perfect time to transition over there. So then what is that story? What is the story behind Mom Incubators? So, as I was telling you, I came back from my, uh, I did some work in the States for about a year and a half, came back to my funny university, and I got given the, the pro well, uh, given the brief of design something that solves a problem. Um, with that, I actually sat on my, uh, my student couch at the time, watched the TV, and a documentary about the Syrian refugee crisis came up. And they had a five-minute segment that explained that because they lacked incubators, they're effectively losing the entire generation. So I chose that as the problem, and the incubator came out of it. The idea is basically a, a collapsible, inflatable incubator that can be packaged up into a, a really small size, be delivered anywhere, um, at a fraction of the cost of normal systems. Um, and then it all kind of starts from there. You're, you're developing mom incubators. Yep. Now you have to develop a team or create your team. Mm -hmm. What's your number one priority? Values, 100%. I, I, I think people forget you have to work with them every single day. Um, so you need to find people you really, really get on with. Um, it, it, my co-founder, for example, I, I now see him more than I think he sees his wife, which is a bit strange, but we also get on amazingly and we pull each other through hard times um, so first one is, is values do they believe in your your in your mission and vision can they build on your mission and vision um, ultimately are you, are, you, are you friends with them as well <clears throat> can they tell you the the difficult things that you need to hear too what about a passion for what you do I mean a similar vision you mentioned do you, are you connected to that passion 100 percent ultimately our vision is to increase access to healthcare through affordable and innovative technology solutions. And everyone we've brought on, that's the first thing we give to them. 
And if, if they don't buy into that, then they don't get through the first round. Um, that's kind of like a staple. We've got our strategy document very kind of set. If they don't buy into that, then they're not getting through the, through the door. Uh, so it's important for your team to have a shared value. Is that important in strategic partnership and investments? I think it's the most important thing. Um, just like your team, I look at investors and strategic partners as partners. They're not people you shy away from. They're people you go to ask for help when things are going wrong. So you ha they have to also share your vision, your mission for the company. Otherwise, they shouldn't be there, in honesty. So you want an actual partner? Yeah, 100%. Um, I, th I think if you're not working together, then you're not getting the most value. So what's the point? Couldn't agree more. So how have things changed, uh, either the culture of mom incubators or your strategy since uh, being a finalist in, uh, with the MedTech Innovator program? Much more focused. Um, I think before the MedTech Innovator pro program, we weren't, we weren't scattered. It just wasn't as pinpoint as it could be. Um, so Metic Innovator really helped us with our, it's almost like our timeline, but our pathway onto how to get our first product onto the market. And they really kind of gave us the, the backbone of how to do that well. And now we've been executing that and we're doing, doing great things actually. We're getting to a really, really exciting time. Um, yeah. I'd like to go into that a little bit more. What was the last milestone or milestones that are notable for you with Mom Incubators? Yeah, so we've just had one of our preliminary clinical studies accepted internationally, which was a, a huge achievement for our, for our head of clinical affairs, um, Roz, who we've just brought on. That was amazing. And it, it's strange seeing something you've designed at, at university finally getting there. Um, it's really exciting. Congratulations first. Uh, I would say that every member of the medical device community can uh, feel or agree with that feeling of s taking an idea or a concept and then seeing it come to fruition and then seeing it to come to market. Uh, there's just nothing else like it. So congratulations again. What milestones are you looking forward to? Uh, my big one personally is first baby because that's going to be, I, don't know, yeah, I, put, I put my heart and soul into this for, a, it's all I really know. Um, that for me is going to be a really, really big milestone. Um, that's, that, that's the one I'm, uh, we're w working towards now. Looking ahead, what are Mom Incubator's 2018 priorities? So for 2018, um, we need to con continue to grow our team, making sure we instill the same values and culture um, that we've been doing so, so far. We're starting to work on our second product, um, which is really, again, really exciting. Um, it, it's more of an evolution of our first one. Uh, so watch this space and making sure that all our clinical trial data is coming back um, and it's really, really positive and powerful for what we're doing. Very exciting, very exciting. Uh, for the last just few moments, if you don't mind, James, I would like to pass the spotlight over to you. Is there anything that you'd like our audience, our community to know about Mom Incubators? Um, any lessons learned or anything you want to share? So I've set Mom Incubators up as an impact company. Um, I want to make sure we take the metrics, not of just our financials, but of how many people we give an incubation system to, for example. Um, I believe it's a new way of building companies and it will be really, really powerful for medical technology um, going forward. Best wishes, congratulations, and good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great to meet you. That was Thank fantastic. You. Thanks, James. Yeah.